You have just bought a shiny new BYD electric vehicle, maybe a Seagull for under $10,000 or a luxurious Hunt EV. It's fast, affordable, and packed with tech. But what happens when it breaks down? Can anyone fix it? Are parts even available? And who do you call for help? Today we are diving deep into the world of BYD EV ownership in 2025 to uncover the truth about repairs, local stores, parts, and support. Buckle up because this is going to shock you. BYD is taking over the EV world, with 5.5 million vehicles forecasted to sell this year alone. From the budget-friendly Seagull to the 1300 horsepower Yangguang U9 hypercar. They're everywhere. But as BYD floods markets like Europe, Australia, and Latin America, one question looms large. Is their support system ready for the global stage? First up, can anyone fix BYD EV? The answer isn't as simple as you would hope. In countries like Australia, BYD has partnered with MyCar, a national chain with over 30 EV-enabled service centers. These shops use genuine BYD diagnostic tools and trained technicians to handle everything from battery checks to brake repairs. In the UAE, BYD offers mobile technicians who come to you for minor fixes. But here's the catch. Outside major markets, repair options are fun. A Reddit user in Australia shared the nightmare story. Their BYD c 6 sat at a repair shop for 11 weeks after hitting a kangaroo. With parts still not available, some owners report delays of up to 8 weeks for basic components. But why? BYD's supply chain is heavily China-centric and global distribution lags behind their sales boom. BYD's tech is advanced, but without parts or proper training, the technicians are stuck. It's not like fixing a Toyota. In Europe, BYD is building service networks with workshops in the UK, Netherlands, and more. But it's still growing. If you're in a smaller city, you might need to ship your car to a certified repairer, expensive and time-consuming. Next, are there any local BYD stores if you're in Australia, you're in luck. BYD has experience centers in major cities like Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane, where you can test drive models like Atto 3 or Dolphin. In the US, BYD's presence is limited to commercial vehicles, but showrooms are popping up in places like uh, Pasadena, California. In Europe, BYD is expanding fast, with dealerships in the UK, Germany, and Ireland. Latin America is a hotspot too. El Salvador just got its first showroom in San Salvador in 2024, with plans for more in 2025. But in rural areas or smaller countries, you're out of luck. No local store means no direct support, and that's a problem for owners needing quick fixes. Their staff is great, but when you ask about repairs, they point you to a service center 200 miles away. BYD's global rollout is impressive, but their dealership network hasn't caught up with their sales. Check BYD's website or call ahead to find the nearest stores. Now, the big one. Are BYD parts available locally? This is where the things get dicey. BYD claims to offer genuine spare parts through their service networks, but availability varies widely. In Australia, my car stocks parts for common models like the Atto 3 but rarer components can take weeks to ship from China. BYD electronic parts catalog lists everything from Seagull's battery to Han EV motors, but it's mainly for dealers. In Europe, BYD operates three parts warehouses in the Netherlands, Sweden, and UK, promising fast delivery. Yet in the UK, Auto Express reported that parts shortages are making some BYD models almost uninsurable due to long repair times. And the issue is that BYD's vertical integration means they make most parts in-house, which keeps costs down but slows global distribution. If you need a specific part like a headlight or battery module, you could be waiting months unless you're near a major hub. Finally, what if you need support? BYD offers a robust warranty, 8 years or 160,000 kilometers for the traction battery, 6 years or 150,000 kilometers for the vehicle in Australia, and they have teamed up with DigiCall for 24-7 roadside assistance activated with each log block service. Flat battery, locked out, they have got you covered. But support isn't perfect. 
Some owners report vague ETA and poor communication when chasing parts or repairs. In the UAE, BYD's remote service is a game changer, but it's not available everywhere. If you're in a region without a BYD service center, you'll need to rely on email or support, which can feel like shouting in the void. And the pro tip is to always check BYD's official site for local contacts and warranty details. And if you're buying a BYD, ask your dealer about their repair and part timeline before signing. So can you fix a BYD EV? Yes, but it depends on where you live and how patient you are. Local stores and parts are available in major markets, but BYD's global support is still playing catch up. If you are considering a BYD with an incredible value against potential repair, repair delays, have a BYD horror story or a success, drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more EV troops. Until next time, stay charged. Thank you.